So whenever I need to build an old brick wall or temple ruins or that sort of thing, I generally go with my standard workflow. I make some box meshes that fit my size needs, I send them over to ZBrush, and then I chip away at the edges until I'm happy with how they look. Now this generally involves using the Trim Dynamic Brush, and this works well, but you know, there are some issues with that. It requires a certain amount of precision to hit the edge of the blocks in such a way that you get a good trim, uh, while not generating you know, little thin geometry shards and weirdness that needs to be fixed up later and that kind of stuff. So when I was starting into a fairly large set of these yesterday, my brain got to thinking about, hey, let's twist some knobs and see what happens because you know there's no shortage of knobs to twist in ZBrush. So the pretty simple setup for this is to take the trim dynamic brush, change the stroke type to drag rectangle, and give it some sort of an alpha. This is just a five-sided polygon that I made in Photoshop, but you can... I've tried triangles and other shapes. It generally works... It works a little differently depending on the shape you have, but it's all good. Now the orientation spinners, you'll find these on the brush menu. And if you set the spin angle and spin rate to some small value, that will twist the alpha as you're dragging it out which gives you a little bit of variance, so not every cut you make looks exactly the same. And the final thing I do is I jack the intensity up to 100 and the focal shift to negative 100. That gives it the hardest possible edge because you know we're chipping rock after all. So this was recorded uh, before I saved it out as a custom brush. So you can see that I uh, this did indeed start life as the uh, trim dynamic brush because it's still called that up in the top left corner there. What I like about this method is the lack of uh, required accuracy. You know, I just need to sort of drag near the edge and uh, it tends to catch and just do the right thing. I find that when I use Trim Dynamic, I have to have a little more accuracy, which can slow me down. Now, uh, the key to making this work effectively is to vary up the uh, drag length. So you know, a mix of short and long drags will uh, give the edges those little those little variances that make them look uh, distinct from each other, but they all still kind of look like they go together, uh, which is really what you're after. And by keeping the brush uh, radius the same size, you can chip large stones, small stones, and they all have the same size chipping detail, which is also useful. And once you're done hitting all of your edges, you can go back with some other brush, some other brushes and refine them to your heart's content. But this is a quick way to get to that point and not have to waste too much time on this, on this initial, you know, let's go chip everything up stage. And I'll put a link to the, uh, uh, to the brush. You can just download it directly if you don't want to fool around with settings. And hopefully if you load that into ZBrush, it'll just work. But, you know, uh, the ways of ZBrush are mysterious sometimes. So uh, I'll let this run for like another you know, little bit uh, so you can just watch it in action and uh, have fun and happy edge chipping.